So we started out as for selling touring bikes. Everywhere you look in Saturday Cycle, there's something cool to see. This one's kind of a uh, blinged out one a little bit. Neat details on them with the, with the lugs and stuff. And Mark Kennedy knows it all. This is a surly uh, a mountain bike that's made as a single speed. This last year has been big. Old mountain bikes have been pulled out of the garages a lot the last two years. The biggest problem is parts, like parts, repair parts for any older bikes are, are almost non-existent. The supply chain bringing his repairs to a stop. Like 26 inch tires and tubes have been out of stock for a year. Repairs are really a problem spot, but inventory is as well. It's not that they don't have it, they have lots of it, but. We get what we get. And, but if I want to go and say order uh, one of these in blue and a different size, forget it. So from a local bicycle shop to RC Willie, one of Utah's biggest retailers, they're experiencing some of the same things. Business has been our best year ever, but I wouldn't say that it hasn't been without its challenges. CEO Scott Hymas and the company made the decision to stock their warehouses full. Instead of cutting down on our inventory when things were tough 15 months ago, we sat down, we made a decision and said, well, the demand is there, we're going to bring it in. Pushing their warehouses to the largest inventory it's ever been, but. If it's in the warehouse, we've got it and and make sure your, your customer knows that we're receiving a lot of product. But some of those dates, uh, because of the port, because of the ships, because of the COVID, are not as reliable as they were two years ago. So whether it's a bicycle. We're hearing that things will get back to normal in 2023. Or furniture. It isn't just, just COVID or supply chain issues. Now it's spread into labor challenges. Or anything else. Supply chain disruptions are affecting everyone in unique ways. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. All across the state. Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.